Hey guys, this week in news, Taylor Barrett is following up on the G-Spot levy story. They just gave CUSA a hundred petitions asking for their levy. And as Haley Ritchie reports, Raw decided to uh, update their electoral code. So they're hoping to see smoother elections in the future. That's this week in news. Hi everyone, this week in National, we're looking at two University of Ottawa professors who are teaching at the Russian International Olympic University in Sochi in the Master of Sport Administration program. We're also looking at the University of Waterloo who purchased five buildings from Blackberry to expand their campus. And that's this week in National. Sometimes Carleton's information superhighway can feel more like a gravel road. For a complete guide on how to connect and some of the best spots from Carleton's tech gurus, check out Christine Lee's feature in the Charlatan this week. Hi guys, this week in Op-Ed, Riley Evans, a law student, talks about Pride Week. He says there can be a common misconception about the week and that it's more than just a celebration. It's also a period of resistance. And in the Food and Drink blog, Alex Brockman talks about Irish coffee. He outlines the history of how Irish coffee began and gives you the best recipes. He even explains why sometimes it's okay to have some Irish coffee before your 8.30 class. And that's this week in Op-Ed. This week in arts, Mitch Jackson talked to Broken Social Scene's Brendan Canning about his newest projects and covered his performance at Safe Odds. And Patrick Butler covered QEG's new exhibition, which features art from Carleton's students, faculty, and alumni. And that's This Week in Arts. Hello Ravens! This week in sports, we have coverage of the Invitational Fencing Tournament hosted here at Carleton. Our athletes medal in five of six events. Uh, we also have coverage of men's hockey, where Carleton swept its weekend action, including a victory over the previously undefeated Queen's University Gales. Uh, all that and more, be sure to check it out this week in sports. This week in multimedia, Jesse Park finds out what Carleton students think of CU Wireless, and we talk to women's basketball player Lindsay Schottbolt for another segment of Meet the Ravens. And that's this week in the Charlatan.